Kate Mila Falcha, welcome to Irish Granny Tarot. Um, I just have a short couple of questions tonight. Still in that January uh, hibernation thing. It's really hard to break out of that. Before I start, if we could all take a minute and put our guest and one of our favorite authors, Greg Oliar, in our minds and our hearts, his father died. And he had COVID last week. And none of this is a secret. I'm not breaking HIPAA <laughs> laws. He talks about it publicly. But, you know, that's hard and it's sad. And so maybe send him your thoughts, your best wishes, whatever. Just keep him in your heart. And uh, a couple of questions. And the first question, I'm sure it's just burning everybody's pocket. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy. So we all know that the Republicans are having a moment of disarray. And I guess there are five Republicans who really don't want him. So let's ask the cards. And I have no idea. I haven't studied up on this. I get too verklempt. So I haven't studied up on it. So this is going to be the cards, whatever they say. I'm going to just face value, face card value. So what's up in the next little tiny bit for Kevin McCarthy? Will he assume Speaker of the House? Is he going to have to compromise his single last principle? <laughs> I swore, my New Year's resolution is I'm going to try to be kinder to people with whom I disagree. So, okay. <laughs> kinder about them since I don't interact with them. Maybe we'll do a full Celtic cross on this just for fun. here. The Eight of Swords reversed. He's all tangled up. He's going to have problems moving past this opposition. And here we have this King of Wands reversed authoritarianism, tyrannical. And I'm thinking this is his opponents as much as him. Uh, huge, huge opposition. At the foundation, strength. And I think what this is saying, what this indicates is the scenario is a battle for control, for strength. Who's going to be the most powerful in the House of Representatives? Now he's done all your basic negotiating. He has worked very hard. He's worked harder at getting the vote to be Speaker of the House than he has ever worked as a representative. Entertainment purposes only. I'm just interpreting the cards. And there is temperance reversed. The Republicans are truly, truly at each other's throats. And if you remember yesterday, we kind of got the feeling that like a pack of wolverines who turn on each other, uh, the potential does exist that they're going to do themselves in by their divisiveness, their lack of cooperation with each other. He's made offers that he's not necessarily committed to. He's 
presented a false face to members of the House to get the vote. And this is in the context of the Page of Pentacles. We have the, the Knight of uh, Cups and the Page of Pentacles, two very sort of oily cards in a context like this. These, these are the Uriah Heaps <laughs> of tarot cards. These are the people who are going to say, do, make offers of, whatever it takes because they have an agenda and they're not being honest about their agenda. Justice reversed. This is the fear. I think this might be the influence of the Democrats. I don't think the Republicans are in any way concerned about justice. In fact, it's the farthest thing from their minds. I think this is the Democrats watching this unfold and just in horror, basically. I don't know, Kevin. We have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups reversed. Heavy duty emotion. Suffering, pain, grief. I don't know. Let's let's just do a couple of more cards from the outcome. Pardon my dogs. They're feeling the vibe. <laughs> my husband's feeding them, and you'd think that they never got fed. You'd think they got fed once a week. You know, they make the biggest fuss. The smaller the dog, the bigger the fuss. A clarification on the outcome. All those swords... That reversed Ace of Cups. I don't know. It's not looking good. But that doesn't mean that his campaign, that quid pro quo, those Six of Pentacles that he's built up to, that false knight, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, he made a lot of promises. Empty promises, false promises, trying to get away with something. Ooh. The Knight of Wands. His campaign, his crusade may be blocked. He's on the defensive, big time on the defensive. Now this is all sort of elaborating on the outcome. It's going to depend on the promises he makes. Oh, of course, but whether they will believe him. That's the nine of pentacles we're talking about. Money and security and position and comfort and mm. King of Swords reversed. It's kind of a mixed message here. Very interesting. Oh, look what we get again. The Nine of Swords. So either it's not going to be a successful effort for him, or it's going to be almost not worth the emotional angst that he is pouring into it because he has made promises, offered things, said things, fake compliments, promises of position, promises of funding, promises of legislation. I think this might have a little bit to do with that. I don't know. It's not looking positive for Kevin. But remember, I think it's really important to point out with tarot cards not to rely on a hundred percent guarantee of an outcome. Free will. The variables are so important. Now, I'm surprised we didn't get the two of swords here. We get it so often. All right. My only other question for tonight, for making this short. I tortured you enough this weekend. That was heavy stuff to think about.
Jack Smith. He's the one I wanted to ask about last night, and I decided to save it for tonight. Uh, we haven't heard anything in, I mean, like almost a week. <laughs> Jack Smith. What's up with Jack Smith? Let's just do a full Celtic cross, get a feeling for the energy in that. Undertaking. All the guys in the office. And girls, I include them in the guys. Okay. Let's do a little bit more. <laughs> Somebody asked me, how do I know when it's enough? I don't know. It's just a feeling. I don't know. I feel like this needs to be stirred up just a tiny bit more. Okay. Oh. He's meeting with some serious serious resistance the eight of wands reversed pushback witnesses claiming uh uh no what's the word uh the fifth you know the fifth amendment <laughs> oh interesting he's getting some cooperation some truth is coming out against people's all you know. And this is the lovers you know who popped into my head here? Ivanka. Year and a half ago, two years ago, every time we did a reading that was peripherally involved with who who's the crucial witness in all this stuff. We kept getting a woman and probably Ivanka, the Empress, the Empress of the Trump Empire. That's in the atmosphere over it all. At the foundation, the Six of Wands, she will be victorious. Justice, oh my God. <laughs> It's karma, baby. <laughs> Coming back to get him. This is beautiful. Jack's working hard. He has been doing the work. The Seven of Pentacles. In an atmosphere fraught with challenge and change and toxicity and negative vibes. Oh, this is so interesting. Fear. I think Trump is, I think he's really starting to get worried. He's, you know, I don't want to diagnose because I left my, my psychiatric diploma somewhere. But let's just say in general terms, not mentioning any one particular person, but when you've got a, a malignant narcissism, Probably self-protection is the, the strongest emotion. It's like an, feeling an animal threat. Mmm, not sure I like this. The Ten of Cups reversed. Let's see what's crossing it. Oh. Page of Swords, I think we're going to do a clarifier on this, but this almost feels like the lack of cooperation of testimony acts as a holds some things back, maybe not necessarily all of them, all, but he is going to take action. The Page of Wands. So I think that he, you know, Pretty good. I think very good. Very good. <laughs> I think what's uh, happening here is he's meeting a lot of resistance, having a hard time getting solid evidence. It's one thing to know something. It's another thing to be able to prove it in court. 
That's that's what I'm feeling. Uh, but he's doing the work. He has some testimony, some depositions is the right term. I'm not sure. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a psychiatrist now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I think, I think he's going to come up against resistance. And he's still going to be able to make some charges. At least he's going to recommend. And I'm still not entirely certain. Maybe somebody can let me know who has the final say on whether this will be um, an indictment. Is it Jack or is it Merrick Garland? It's Merrick Garland. Get to put the thumbs up or the thumbs down. And this is a clarifier on that outcome. I didn't like that outcome. This just popped up again. He's meeting resistance for sure. People not wanting to tell the truth. People not wanting to testify. All I know is I wouldn't like to face that man. He's scary. Okay. This is a clarifier. No. You saw me shuffle. I'm pretty clear message that there are people either not telling him the truth or refusing to tell him the truth. Justice. Lots of swords here tonight. I think um, I'm wondering if that has to do, you know, the like the legality of the whole thing. Four of Cups reversed. It's about collecting evidence, coming up with a story, presenting the story, maybe not having it well received, being blocked from the full story. The Three of Wands. Well, the Wands, you know, they talk about action. And I think that this is um, an indication Jack Smith has a very clear-eyed vision of the effects that these things are going to have down the road for democracy. He, kind of looking overseas, he's worked with war criminals. He's worked with serious bad guys. And wait till you see this. This is going to be the last card tonight. The King of Swords. I'm just, I'm not even going to say anything. I don't need to say anything. Oh. <laughs> it seems like we saw this card earlier. So this is a mixed, kind of a mixed prediction that there are going to be things we're happy about that he's going to at least attempt to take action on. And I, I don't know if he's going to get a no from Merrick Garland or if he's not going to get the evidence that he needs. But it seems like some people, I mean, this you don't need tarot cards for this, Some, the, but the cards are certainly um, elucidating what we know, clarifying what we know. There will be people who are cooperating. There are people who won't cooperate, but we're talking the Empress cooperating, and I just... In my gut. Ivanka. Oh, this is going to get so interesting. And tomorrow, brace yourselves. That's all I can say. Things are going to get weirder in the House of Representatives. So thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, I realized last night that I didn't say what I should have said. Just get dist I distract myself. I entertain myself too much and I forget. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. This is this week will be my second year.
Yeah. Actually, ironically, my first video was made on January 6th of 2021, a day that will go down in history because I made my first video, right? <laughs> Makes it easy to remember. So this is my second year this week, and it's been so fun, so reassuring that there are so many good people out there. I'm feeling the love, and I hope you feel it right back. And this year's going to get more interesting. I suppose I can go ahead now and talk about it since Denise actually already has. Denise and I are going to do a podcast, and we're going to have regular conversations that we're going to put out as a podcast and also on YouTube. So you can choose, you know, what you want to do. And I won't, I don't know if she's given it away yet. I won't give it away. I will say this. It's not political. <laughs> that makes you feel better. So just sit on the edges of your seat and wait because it's going to get good. And in the meantime, thank you very, very much for all the beautiful comments, the support, even the people who had snarky things to say. There were about three of them in two years. Hey, that's okay. We're all entitled to have an opinion as misinformed as it might be. So thank you very much. Happy New Year. And uh, let's move forward and... Slongafoil and slancha. <laughs>